great that flour. A lot of bakers will just add their cold water to their flour, mix it for a minute, and let it sit for 45 minutes before adding all their other ingredients. It's kind of called an auto leaves method. You're letting your flour hydrate. When you let your flour or your water hydrate, it'll actually open the pores up more. If I were to make a pizza tomorrow with a dough that I didn't auto leave compared to a dough that I did, you'll notice the auto leave method will actually have a more profound crust. You'll see more holes in it, like Swiss cheese. So there's different techniques on how to make your dough better. The bulk ferment is another way of making dough. What's a bulk ferment? I mix my dough. I don't use a starter. I make my dough. I go ahead and do a bulk ferment, divide it into four batches, put it in my fridge for 24 hours, take it out, degas gas those big pieces, and then cut them in, and let them rise for another 24 hours. That's a bulk ferment. I need to do something that made my dough a little better, and that's, it's, it's a bulk ferment. You degas that dough, and now it re-rose and it gassed up again, you'll have more flavor out of that dough. So that's, you hear bulk ferment, that's what that is. We have any other questions? My starter's room temperature, 18 hours. Before I go to put it in in the summer, I like to cool off the starter a little bit. In the winter, I don't have to. I can take it right out. I've had this one out for a while. It kind of was overflowing this morning. You got here at like 6.45. Like I got here at 5. But you watched it grew, right? It grew as you were seeing it. Yeah, you were here for days. 